What's up, bros and bro? That's today I'm gonna be telling you a story about me and Josh. Not Josh, my brother, Josh Massey, and this is things that is going on in our life right now, and it will be affecting our YouTube significantly. So, me and Josh both have jobs, and our schedules are a little different from each other. I get off around five, seven every day. He gets off around nine every day. <laughs> Sorry about that. And so some of the videos are gonna be of just me. Some of the videos are gonna be of just him. And then some of the videos are gonna be of me and him. So I ask that you guys will follow us and still support us through this. And just know that eventually, the more you guys follow and like and watch us, the easier and the quicker we'll be able to be just bros for real and do everything 100% YouTube and not have to work another job. So I, I, I hope that day comes because I love making videos for you guys and just, just giving you guys good content because the thing I want to do in life is just make people smile and happy. And YouTube makes me happy and I think it makes you guys happy and laugh, which makes me happy to know that you guys are laughing. So I'm happy that you guys are happy that I'm happy making you guys happy. See what I'm saying? But that's how it is. And me and Josh are just going to be doing that. And there's going to be videos with me and him. And there's going to be videos with me and then there's just him. So continue to follow us. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Tell everyone you know. And in Jesus, I just want to say thank you, God. For letting us be able to do this each and every single day to be able to give you guys content because i want him to praise us not praise us because obviously he doesn't praise us we praise him but bless this channel i love you guys and what's up bros and bro that's i am one third of the best looking guys on youtube and I, today i'm gonna be telling you a story time about the time that i almost burned down my house so i was in about I don't know, sixth grade, maybe fifth grade. I'm, I'm a youngster. I can't remember all the age details, but I was very young. And I go to put ramen noodles, yeah, because I'm hungry and I'm by myself. I'm a little kid. I don't know much about making food at all. And nobody was up. Really, nobody was up. And I was like, I'm freaking hungry. So I go into the pantry and I look, I'm like, yo, peanut butter and jelly doesn't sound good. Chicken doesn't sound good. Even though I wouldn't even know how to freaking make it, but I was like, yo, bologna sandwich doesn't sound good. So I think I'm going to make some ramen noodles because I used to eat ramen noodles all the time. I used to eat peanut butter and jelly all the time. That's why those two were my if. I was like, yo, peanut butter, jelly, ramen noodles. I don't know. You guys tell me which one you guys would have chose. <laughs> Obviously, I chose ramen noodles, the beef flavor, because that's the only flavor that is worth eating. <laughs> Freak you chicken eaters. But, so... I didn't read the package and I didn't know basically how to make it. I just seen like my stepdad make it before and I was like, yo, he put it in the microwave and there was also a time where he put it in the oven and I was super young. I was like, yo, I'm not messing with the oven. So I'm about to just throw it in the microwave. So I throw it in the microwave for, I think, I think the packet says four minutes or something. And I put boom, 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 four minutes. Actually, I put four, four, four. Whenever I uh, put things in the microwave, I don't ever put zeros. It's whatever number my finger lands on I just click it three times just because I'm lazy I guess I don't know it's just a thing I always do whenever I go for a minute I go a minute 11 it's whatever so I go upstairs and I start playing with my brother and I forget that I put the ramen noodles in the in the um, microwave and all of a sudden I, I like I start smelling smoke and the alarms go off Boom. Beep, beep, beep. And my my stepdad and my mom, they all like jump out of bed because they're like trying to be heroes. And I mean, they're all my heroes, but they, they like, they run downstairs and like, where, where's the fire at and stuff. And there really wasn't like a fire except for in, in the microwave. It was legit like in flames, the ramen noodles because I'm a little kid and I forget to put water in the ramen noodles. I forget to put water in the freaking ramen noodles to make them. At that, I left the freaking beef packet in there, which is aluminum or whatever it's encased in. So that's on fire. The entire microwave is on fire. The fire department comes because they hear the they hear the uh, sirens or whatever. I think they get like a alert that the fire alarm has gone off or something. I have no idea. Um, but they came. 
and they put that I mean the fire was already out but they was just like they were they honestly were laughing but I remember getting like a dog or something from it like a, a pet dog not like an actual dog but like a, like a, a, a fluffy dog and they were just like I actually when when it happened I respect this my parents first reaction were to run upstairs and grab us and be like, yo, get outside, there's a fire. And keep in mind, we're all little and young. So we're like, oh, and we start crying and stuff. You know, and I was like, I was crying because I was a little baby back. Wuss. <laughs> yeah, I used to be real wussy when I was younger, by the way. And so we get, we get the cops and everybody at our house. The fire's already out. I'm thinking I'm about to get in super trouble because I know that it's my stuff that is on fire. And basically, I didn't get in trouble, but they kind of laughed at me and was just like, why would you, why wouldn't you just like have one of your older siblings make it? I'm like, they were asleep. It was just me and my brother awake. So my sisters actually got in more trouble than I did just because like they're supposed to be watching out for me. Thanks a lot, guys. You almost let us, let me freaking kill all of us. Big thank you to you. Poof. The house almost went in flames and that's pretty much the story on how I almost burned my entire house down and killed all of us. If you guys have ever uh, made any mistakes like this before, actually there's another time, it's what I'm going to, I'm going to say more, there's, there's another time when I think it was around Christmas time and we all were asleep and our our um, dryer caught on fire like it's a big dryer and it got caught on fire because of the towel or something like the lint basket wasn't cleared and the cops came at this time I was really really sick as well so like my mom ran upstairs grabbed us like I'm in the top bunk and my mom's a five foot one five foot little petite woman that yanked me off of the top bed and like she just became Hercules, and all of us, all those kids, went outside. We got in the car, and the the fire department came. But what I remember is that my mom was refilling like the Kool Aid pitcher or something, and throwing the water at the fire. And I was just like, "Yo, my mom's a savage, bro. My mom is a savage." She started fighting the fire, and I was just like, "Yo, like I just remember that." And I, Every time I think about it, I'm just like, man, my mom legit was going to die to save us. So, like, that's that's how you know it's like a, I don't know, I respect it. That's how you know, like, your mom will actually be willing to die for you. Even, like, through the good times and the bad times when you guys argue with each other. That's what I remember. I'm just like, it's okay. Like, my mom, like, almost killed herself trying to save us. But our dryer caught on fire and the... Man, I keep burping. And the fire department came in. They came in with the big hose. And I almost, for a long time, I wanted to be a firefighter. And I, I thought about really doing it just because I saw them like, like I was like, yo, they're heroes. They are heroes in, in, in a way. They are heroes. So I respect fire departments. I, I respect the police, except, except for when they do dumb things and try to, like, come at people the wrong way. Those are the cops I don't like. But... Yeah, almost killed us. Almost killed us. And my mom saved us. Twice. She's a monster. Shout out to you, mom. I love you. Uh, make sure you guys... Actually, I don't know. I, I may or may not put her... No, I'm not going to do that. Because she, then she's going to call me and be like, Why are all these people, like, DMing me and stuff? And I'm like, Ma, I put you on a video. And she watched our video, so... She probably, she probably will see this video and be like, well, I don't recall all the, she's going to be modest and stuff like that, but don't let her lie. And, oh, dude, I'm about to fart. Oh, it's a baby fart. It's probably going to stink, though. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I, like I said, every single video we're going to be doing this. Make sure you guys go show major love to us every single day because we love you guys and we want to give you good content. And without God, none of this would be possible. So I want to thank God each and every single day that I'm, I'm alive because each day is not promised to us. If you guys have any prayer requests, put them in the comments down below and we will make a video 
basically like praying for you guys so that way you guys can understand like we want we want to we want God to be here in our lives and and bless this channel because anything is possible with God we could become the best youtubers just so that way we can give back like that may end up being like God's wish for us to be able to get this money and then give back to people that need it like it's not we do YouTube for money but we don't do YouTube for money if that makes sense we do YouTube so that way we can give back to the people that don't have money because we want to impact like other people's lives and this, this that's just how we feel like we always me and Josh I remember we went to McDonald's and this old guy he came in as we were walking out and he was like he was like um, can you guys spare uh, five dollars and I remember me and Josh are just like we're weirded out because I don't think we ever been asked before but like then we were just like oh I'm sorry we don't have money and I knew dang well that I had the money to give it to him and I, uh, I ran back inside because I felt really bad like I felt I was like I felt like yo this is wrong I need to I have the money why not give it so that's how that's how it is gonna be with like YouTube and stuff like if I have the money I'm gonna give it and I, I bought him a cheeseburger a big uh, chocolate brownie and I, I could tell it made his day he smiled and actually told me a little about his life and I felt I felt bad for him but I also felt good because I felt like I had done something great if you guys have almost burned down anything in your life <laughs> put it down in the comments below and I'll comment back to it myself or Josh will uh, if you guys do good deeds let us let us know about those like something that you've done unselfishly but without further ado I have to go I'm out. I love you guys.